Mike, the Toronto Maple Leafs are relevant again. They're coming off a 95-point season. They had 40 wins. They lost in the first round of the playoffs, which was a big accomplishment. Heading into this season, Bodog, the sports betting website, has them at 95 and a half. That's the over-under range. Where do you sit on that? Are you below it or are you above it? I would be slightly above it. Um, let's not forget that with those 95 points last year, the Leafs barely made the playoffs. They made it, I think, on the second last day of the regular season. Um, I think they're more talented when you look at Patrick Marlowe being in there. Uh, everybody's got, uh, you know, Ron Hainsey comes in. They have a little more experience right now. But on the other hand, John, when you look at it, they had nine guys play all 82 games last year. That's not going to continue. And the other thing is, of those seven or eight rookies, yes, Austin Matthews, we expect them to be better. But don't you think that one or two of those yeah. are going to regress? I mean, don't the odds say that? At the very least, there's a, probably an injury in there. Um, and also last year, as a sort of a counter argument, they lost a bunch of one-goal games, yeah. a lot in overtime. So maybe that pushes them up to closer to 100. So there's sort of a give and take here. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what Mike Babcock does in terms of line combinations, in terms of you know, when a guy's on a cold streak, d does he bench him or does he kind of wait it out? Because last year, as you mentioned, they didn't really encounter a ton of adversity because they didn't have high expectations. They had a bunch of rookies. No one was really you know, on top of them going, you guys need to be better. It was just all sunshine and rainbows. Look at, look at the Atlantic Division, John. Um, you know, I, I, Tampa Bay is my pick for the Stanley Cup. But other than them, um, we're not sure about Montreal. I mean, Drouin comes in, but Radulov leaves. Uh, we have to look at, uh, I don't think, I think Boston's in a state of flux. Yep. Buffalo's a little better, but I, I still like Toronto's roster better. Um, I'm not buying into Florida. And, you know, I think that uh, there's some long days ahead for the Detroit Red Wings. So when you look at it that way, and that's where the Leafs play a good chunk of their games, I think that's where they can make the improvement. Well, and three of the teams in the Atlantic are going to make the playoffs, so I think they're in a good spot there. Um, let's get a hard number from you. What, how many points are they getting this season? 98. 98, all right. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. That would be a three-point improvement, so Leafs fans would probably be happy with that. For Post Media, I'm John Mattis with Mike Zeisberger.